Hi Huskies, it's me, Miss Check. I am here for another Mindfulness Monday video. So, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I hope it was restful, and I hope you got to give someone a very nice Mother's Day greeting. Maybe a big hug for your mom, or a grandma, or an aunt, just to let them know you care and appreciate them. Maybe some of you even made pictures, or flowers, or presents for your moms. Even though we can't go out, we can still be creative in how we think about thanking our moms. All right, so today we're going to do some animal breathing. So I've chosen two animals. One of them is an animal I'm kind of scared by, but I'm working on not being so scared of it. Do you ever have something you're kind of scared of, but you're trying not to be? So, the first animal we're going to do is an animal I'm not really scared of, although I would definitely not want to just be one-on-one -on -one with a bear because bears are beautiful, strong, amazing animals, but humans are not supposed to be playing with bears. So, that a bear would beat me up, but I love to look at them. And one of the really interesting things about bears is that they hibernate in the winter, lots of bears. Does anybody know what a hibernate means? Mm -hmm. Hibernation is when you go to sleep for a period of time. So it's kind of like in winter when the earth needs to rest and snow comes down and gets cold, things aren't growing. Some animals decide to go to sleep, to go kind of either underground or in a tree or in a cave so that they can rest through the winter, come out in the spring. So one thing that bears do so that they can stay asleep that whole time is to really slow their breathing down. Something I just learned recently. Their bodies, they can literally slow their entire system down so they're breathing very slowly so it doesn't take up as much energy in their body. I think it's pretty cool. So I want us to pretend that we are bears today. So I know not all bears hibernate, but you can pretend to be any kind of bear you want. If you want to be a polar bear, a koala bear, a panda bear, a black bear, whatever. So picture a bear in your head, one that is cute, not one that looks scary to you. You're that bear. And so imagine you're going to be hibernating. And maybe you kind of know what that's like because hibernation just means you're kind of staying somewhere and you're just going to wait it out. You're going to rest and sleep until this whole thing <laughs> is over. And for bears, that's winter. But for us, it's kind of quarantine, right? And we don't want to be sleeping all the time, but we do want to keep our bodies calm and ready for when hibernation ends, right? So we're getting ready for when quarantine ends, when we can all be together again by keeping ourselves calm, keeping ourselves healthy, and making sure that we're remembering to breathe. So let's do bear breaths, okay? So sit up straight in a comfortable position and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Again, even slower. Now, you're like a bear that's going to sleep. So your breath is super slow. I exhaled for 10 seconds. Can you see how long you can exhale for? So inhale. Deep and then exhale and try to go very slowly, leaving all the breath out very slowly. Good job. Okay, now we're going to breathe like an animal that kind of scares me a little bit. We're going to breathe like a snake. How many people are afraid of snakes? I know some people are not. And I know 
that snakes are actually amazing animals and they're really, really important because they take up a lot of the smaller kind of things that we need, we don't want in our gardens or in our houses. And they're pretty amazing in terms of how their, how their bodies work and how their skeletons are and all kinds of stuff. But I'm just scared of snakes and I have been since I was a little girl. So it's hard for me when I see snakes not to be scared. But my son and my daughter both love snakes. And when we go to the zoo, they like to go to the snake house. So sometimes I have to work on not being scared or just saying, okay, I am scared. I am a little bit scared, but I'm still going to do this thing. And I can do it. And I do. I've been to the snake house a lot of times. So we are going to breathe like a snake. Okay, so I think that will help me to feel a little calmer too, okay? So we're gonna make our mouth like a little O, okay? And you're gonna breathe in like you're sucking through a straw, okay? So imagine you got a little straw there. In, and then as you let it out, I want you to hiss. In and out. Great job. Try it one more time. In and out. Hiss like a snake. Okay. Thank you so much, Huskies. Now let's take our little, let's do our, um, our closing for today. So repeat after me. I take care of you. You take care of me. We take care of each other because we're a family. Thank you so much, Huskies. I'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday Tales.